it, it is a phenomenon. The, the number of cells and, and, and how well it's done around the world was fascinating to me. And one of the, the big reasons I was drawn to it, obviously, you know, from the business sense, they make, it, it, it makes total sense uh, for a producer to want to be involved. But I was more interested into what is it that is attracting people, and particularly women, to this story. And when we were interviewing writers and talking to people about it and both directors, we really started to get an insight into this. And, and it's really, I think Eric has hit on something that is giving women the ability to talk about something that they were never able to talk about before. Um, they, can, they all share the book and then they feel more comfortable to open up about things that they might have not necessarily been comfortable opening up to either even one another and close friends as they have been with the book. And that just really took off like wildfire. Um, and it's really uh, giving women the ability to explore their inner ambitions that they might have been bashful about or, or, or shy about in a way that they didn't want to talk about before. Uh, but once they've read the book and realized that they're friends and it's become the phenomenon, they've become much more open and willing to talk about their sexuality. The movie that we're making, um, I think, will appeal to a broad audience, not just the the, the group that seems to be uh, the readers. But uh, look, Mike and I, th we're, we're guys, and we typically wouldn't have been the kind of guys that would, would read the book just on our own. Um, and so we're making a movie that's that stays true to the book, but we also open it up to a broader audience. So we want we want the women to be able to come with their girlfriends and enjoy it, and then we want them to also to come back with their boyfriends and girlfriends and enjoy it as well. And I think between Charlie Tango and the R8 and just the, the sexuality and, and the romance that's there, I think it, it's going to appeal to a lot of people and a lot more than people really will realize. Eric is very mindful of how we do things as well because of the huge following of fans that she has. And there might be something that we'll overlook um, that she'll, she'll zero right in on and know that that will be a problem for the fans. And she's very, very on it with, with Twitter and Facebook and constantly watching their feedback and, and teasing them as well, taking a, a, a photo of Christian's feet or... Uh, uh, today she took a picture of one of the uh, one of the rings on, on the bed um, and she'll tweet those out to tease them but at the same time she's getting a lot of feedback and them asking is this going to be in it or what's happening with that um, and she can't really say but she's taking all that information in just same as we are and so she's extremely mindful as to what we're doing to make sure that we're not going to anger the fans or or, or disappoint them in any way uh, by leaving something out or messing something up. The story of Fifty Shades of Grey is is a young, uh, innocent, virgin college uh, student who becomes uh, uh, or is introduced to a young billionaire, this larger-than-life character, uh, on this interview that she goes to just to help out a friend and ultimately leads to him falling in love with her and her falling in love with, with him. And they they're, couldn't be from different worlds, um, but ultimately they, they are attracted to each other in and, and a, a fascinating way. And he kind of sweeps her off of, of her feet, but at the same time she sweeps him off of his feet because he's not the one that really falls in love or the typical kind of guy that falls in love. Um, and while he's usually in control, and there's a lot of that theme of him and, and his control. What is interesting, I think, that happens both in the book and the movie is she's really in control the whole way through. A few of the big things that were the book, it is, it's total wish fulfillment um, in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways there's things that some women or some people would never do but they like the idea of it, or they like the idea of reading about it, or they like the, the danger uh, uh, that there, there may be, or the, the mystery of, of Christian Grey. And he may be the dream character in their head, uh, and it may be some place that they would never go with somebody, but they're definitely intrigued by him, and they're intrigued what he's about.